Welcome to ATV News. I am Elena Arango. Let's jump in with our first story. Good day. I am Elena Arango with ATV News. Let's begin with our top story. As the spring semester comes to an end, University Administration has released a plan for the upcoming fall semester. After months of continuous telework for both faculty and students, there has been discussions around the plan for both activities and classes to resume on campus. This is an opportunity for students to return back to AU and continue their studies following the safety guidelines established by the university to take care of the community. Vice President Seth Grossman released a statement, quote, it is our anticipation that all staff will be working in one of the two models in the fall, full campus presence or hybrid remote work campus presence, end of quote. As one of the many students that are concerned on the possibility of campus reopening, senior Sakshi Agarwal was interviewed on her opinion. Um, as of now, since the COVID cases are rising a lot in India, so I'm not planning to come back to US anytime soon uh, because traveling from India is itself not safe right now. Um, and all the airports are also closing. But if the university goes to full time, like if they call us back and everything is on campus again, then I would come back. As the semester concludes, students are eager to be informed with how will AU plan to resume for the following semester. This has left many international students concerned about the stance AU will take because many, the online environment has been a challenge, especially for students who have a 12 to 24 hour time zone difference with the United States. ATV News will continue to report on this story as it develops. I am Elena Arango with ATV News. Students here at American University have been receiving vaccinations over the last three months. Cami Pine followed their experiences on the vaccination process. Vaccines are becoming more accessible across the country. As of April 8th, one in four U.S. adults are fully vaccinated. Students are getting their shots in a variety of ways. Today, we'll hear from them. Yeah, so I got vaccinated at CVS in Maryland. Um, uh, I believe I'm in the uh, priority group 1C for childcare workers. I normally work uh, at a uh, childcare nonprofit based in Rockville. We do um, like my name is Gus Kurt, and currently I'm working at the vaccination site at Dodger Stadium, which currently is the largest in the world. As the site was closing, whether or not like they had extras, they would they kind of just like came up to me and I was like, yeah, I'd love to get the vaccine and like um, got it administered on site by actually a firefighter that I kind of work under. Um, These last two semesters, uh, instead of doing class, I've been working at a private school as a sort of like assistant teacher, student teacher type role. Um, so like come January, um, my boss emailed us and all and let us all know that we would be included in the first phase of, of the vaccination process. So like immediately after um, healthcare workers and other like medical personnel and stuff, the first guy who's giving me my vaccine, um, it's like, well, you look a little young to be a teacher. No, I'm 21. It's just like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a student teacher. Um, As of April 12th, all DC residents above the age of 16 are eligible to get the vaccine. American University sent out an email a week prior encouraging students to pre-register for the vaccine in order to get their shot as soon as possible. This is Cami Pine with American Television News. Thank you for watching. Next, Mara will be comparing the virtual environment with students who have experienced in-person classes in the past and the students who only know AU from online classes. Thank you and good day. My name is Mara Shepard with ATV News. It has been over a year since the coronavirus pandemic brought life to a halt in the United States and around the globe. Schools around the country closed, sending children and young adults home to complete their lessons online. American University was no different and virtual learning has continued. The freshmen at American University have yet to experience a class in person. A mini master was offered spring semester in order to bring some of the freshman community together to live on campus, but their experience is definitely a far cry from the bustling of campus life pre-COVID. Today, 
we are joined by two American University students to take a look back at how the year has gone. Masumoto is a freshman studying international relations with a minor in French. Although he has never attended American University in person, he moved to Arlington anyway. Not have not being able to, I was thinking about this today, not being able to really connect with kids in my class, um, classes. Uh, it would be really nice to be able to have actual conversations with them regularly and not, not just in breakout rooms or over the messaging features of Zoom. Um, it would be really nice to be able to really meet kids in class. Megan is a junior in the Film and Media Studies major. She has experience attending American University in person and says that her film production classes were better when they were offline. Yeah, I would say the thing that I miss the most from being in person and having classes in a classroom is definitely the time before and after. I think um, it was really beneficial for me to connect with the people in my class and the professor just with small talk at the beginning and after class. Um, it was easier for me to go to office hours and ask professor questions um, before and after class. So um, I do miss being in person um, just because of the social aspect of class. Both are looking forward to experiencing American University's community in person with varying ideas of how campus life will feel like in a post-pandemic world. But I've gotten used to it, which is hard to say because I thought it was going to be temporary. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to go back in person. And um, yeah, it's been really hard to take film production classes online. Thank you. Once again, this is Mara Shepard with ATV News, sending you back to the studio. Finally, let's take a look at graduating AU seniors and their plans for the future based on the ongoing pandemic. During the process of this story, we just received news from an email sent by President Sylvia Burwell on April 14th that American University will be offering an in-person commencement ceremony after talks with D.C. health and law officials. This ceremony will be in addition to the already planned virtual events and optional to any graduates wanting to participate. Students will be required to maintain social distancing and wear masks to participate. The in-person commencement is offered for both the class of 2021 and for the class of 2020. Hello, I'm Adriana Doria from ATV News, Washington, D.C. American University Spring 2021 commencement pivoted to a virtual format according to an email sent to seniors on March 8th. As American University seniors approach their spring commencement, they share their thoughts on the virtual graduation ceremony. I spoke with senior Alexa Glozeni, who expressed understanding for the university's decision, but wishes she could have an in-person ceremony after four years of hard work. I mean, I understand why it would be virtual. Um, like, I understand why they did that and why they made that decision, but I mean, I do wish it was in person, at least maybe if they had organized it in a really safe way. So like smaller groups, time slots, um, outside, like on the field and social distancing and masks and everything. According to President Sylvia Burwell in the March 8th email, the university hopes to include an in-person component to the graduation if DC COVID law permits. That information should be given out to students in the coming days. Now, with their graduation less than one month away, seniors reflect on their preparedness to enter the workforce following more than one year in the COVID-19 pandemic. Senior Katie Selinger is eager to enter the workforce and said, quote, similar to many students, spending the last year virtually has presented its difficulties, though I'm grateful to be able to draw on the internship experiences I've had throughout my undergraduate career once I begin working full time. Like Selinger, senior Jordan Lepo said that entering the post-grad workforce was something he had always looked forward to, but was very challenging in the virtual world. Lepo said, quote, finding a job was difficult but I'm lucky enough to have secured an opportunity recently that I will have after graduation. As they approach entering the workforce, seniors wonder if they will be back in person or will their jobs be virtual work? Will Jeffrey, a senior at AU said, quote, I feel pretty prepared since what I'm doing for work now is virtual. It'll be weird to transition back to an in-person work environment. I don't know if the workplace culture will ever be the same post pandemic. Now that coronavirus vaccines are being distributed all throughout the country, there is hope in sight for these seniors. In terms of like for working and stuff, I mean, I would like to see things go back to normal, of course, um, and just like see more people out and about and everything. But 
I'm, I'm hopeful with the vaccines now. The graduating class of 2021 is excited for their new beginnings, and so are all of us fellow Eagles. From all the students at American University, we wish them the best of luck and look forward to seeing their many accomplishments. I'm Adriana Doria from ATV News, Washington, D.C. Back to you at the studio. You've been watching our last broadcast of the semester. I am Elena Arango. Thank you for watching ATV News. Keep an eye out on our social media for updates. We look forward to seeing you in the fall. Take care.